Hi, my name is Rem, and this episode is a teaser for my upcoming premium course on React development. First, I'm going to show you application we're going to build during this course, and then I'll list topics this course covers. If you're interested in this course and want to be updated on its progress, readiness, and get discount for being awesome early adopter, sign up to my newsletter. To do that, click on this button or find link in the description below this video. I will not spam your inbox, I promise. So here's the application we're going to build. The best board game online shop in the world, no more, no less. You can see that application is actually live and you can go to bgshop.ramsalatik.net to try it out by yourself. Here we have a list of games we have for sale. And that's where we'll start. We'll learn how to create React component, render it on page, pass data to it. Then we'll learn how to render a list of items and then at last how to compose your application by composing small components. Next we'll implement client-side CRUD. Here you'll learn how to create your own forms and then we'll use this form to create new game like this. After that we'll reuse the same form to edit already created games. You can see that when I click on different games, data in edit form is changed. For that to work we'll dive into component lifecycle methods. And then we'll finish CRUD with deleting game from the shop and of course we'll need to create confirmation for it, so we'll learn how to use conditionals in components. Then we'll learn how and most importantly where to make AJAX request to fetch and persist data on server, so our application can actually be used. After all of this you'll be quite familiar with React app development and that's where most of the courses end, but not this one. Instead, we'll tackle user authentication. Right now I'm logged in, but when I log out, you can see that I can no longer manage game collection. Instead, I can buy games, and we'll look into it in a moment. We'll learn how to implement user authentication with Jot, from theory behind it to practical implementation. Also, we'll talk about things you should consider when implementing authentication and choosing auth method. For simplicity's sake, all authenticated users are considered to be admins, so if you sign up, you can manage game collection by yourself. You can try it out right now if you want to. But we'll still learn about such important topic as authorization. After that, we'll implement buy an emulator. Guest user can click on buy button, and as he does it, you can see that data in the cart is updated with overall quantity of items and total sum. To edit card content, just click on it and you'll notice one thing. That's a separate page. And it means that time has come to learn some React Router magic with its latest fourth version. We'll install it, set it up, and learn basics concepts behind it. And later I'm definitely going to create free series on YouTube to dive deeper into this amazing library. This checkout page is also very responsive as you can imagine, you can change quantity and everything is recalculated and updated right away, and if you reload the page everything is persisted. Clicking on these red close icons deletes items from cart and that's how you can empty it. And in the last chapter we'll learn how to deploy our application to DigitalOcean. We'll learn how to do it manually so you understand what's going on. You won't become DevOps after that but you'll get a good understanding of what needs to be done to publish your application for world to use. So to recap, here are topics this course will cover. Working with React components, compose them into application, learning about props and state, unidirectional data flow, components lifecycle hooks, working with forms, complete CRUD implementation, working with AJAX requests, user authentication and authorization, JSON web tokens, React Router, an application deployment to DigitalOcean, and much more little details along the way. As you can see, there are a lot of stuff to learn. But what about backend, you may ask? Well, backend code will be provided separately, and there will be a short chapter on how to set it up locally. So we won't be touching backend stuff in this course, though I'll give you a quick run-through. Also, we'll not be learning Redux. This course is about React. But I plan to make a separate course on Redux that is going to be built upon this one. In it we'll learn about Redux, in what cases we should use it, and learn all details about it. But that's for another day. So what about free YouTube screencast? You will not be making them anymore? Well, I'm glad you asked. I will still be creating free YouTube content as a complementary to the course to get into deeper details on some topics, for example, different kind of authentication, React route, immutability, ES6 tips and tricks, etc. So nothing changes really. But you'll be able to support my work by buying my course, which is a good thing, right? So again, if you're interested in this course and want to be updated on its progress, sign up for my newsletter.
If you have any questions, feel free to contact me via email or Twitter. I'll be happy to know what you think. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.